you dinner? I'm not really hungry. Okay. I know how you feel. I've had my heart broken before too, you know. But look, will you at least try and eat something? I brought your favourite and I know you didn't eat your lunch, love. Why does it hurt so much? I just wish I had all the answers. Oh. Stop torturing yourself. You're always overthinking things. Is there something wrong with me, Mum? No, of course not. Everything's going to be all right. Okay, class, let's take a 15 minute break and uh, don't be late, please. <clears throat> Kath, can I have a minute with you? Yeah, sure. Is everything okay? Oh, it's nothing and just not feeling so well. Kath, you're one of my top students here and your lack of concentration lately, it's concerning me. Oh, well, it's just, you know, relationship issues. <laughs> I see. I have a great book to help with relationship problems. But you're a science teacher, surely you don't believe in miracles. You're right, but this book is different. It will help you to release resentment and regret from the past and find happiness. It's a self-help book? Trust me, just give it a go. Start it on the weekend and see if it helps. Okay, thanks Mr Schumacher. The purpose of this book is to guide you on your own journey to healing and finding love. My story began as a single girl looking for Mr. Wright, who I met in an unusual situation. Everything started really well, but things didn't end up exactly as I'd hoped. My name is Catherine. This is my story. Huh, that's weird. Catherine, same name as me. First, I want to talk about how you can find new love again. Here are a few easy steps to follow. 1. Adjust your expectations. 2. Start with a clean slate. 3. Shake up your routine. 4. Discover the real you. 5. Start dating. Okay, is, is that you? Yeah, do I know you? My name's Bill, you left your FPOS card in the shop. Oh right, sorry, I've been so distracted lately. Yeah, well, I'm getting distracted right now. <laughs> my journey through pain and healing began when I met William in the shopping mall after forgetting my mobile phone in the food court. William? And I just met a guy named Bill. This is getting strange. Really nice to meet you yesterday. Came for our walk in the park after your class on Wednesday. Bill. Well, thank you for accepting my invitation. Oh, well, it was the least I could do. If they hadn't got my FBOS card back, I couldn't have brought my Jimmy Choo. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea you were so rich. <laughs> yeah, you've got no idea. <laughs> this is my favourite restaurant. Felicidad. It means happiness in Portuguese. Felicidad? I think I've heard of it. I can't wait to try the food. If you don't mind me suggesting something. Sure. Marinate a rack of lamb with coriander and honey. Deal. Kath, I just want to say I'm really happy that you're here. Me too.
William had invited me out for dinner. The restaurant was called Felicity Restaurant. Huh, another coincidence. William suggested a dish and some wine for me to try. Rack of lamb marinated in honey and coriander with Torcello red wine. Wait a minute. I had that expensive Torcello and I loved the rack of lamb. What the? So, uh, where are your bikes? Oh, they're out. Oh, okay. Uh... Hey, I've been meaning to tell you about this book I read. Mm -hmm. My science teacher gave it to me, and it's crazy because the main character, right? She's called Catherine as well, so. Uh, sorry, I, I've got to take this call. Okay. Mrs. Quashaw. What a surprise. It didn't take that long. We work fast over here. It's great. You're very lovely. Maybe I should take you out sometime. Oh. <laughs> All right. So is the package confirmed? Everything is ready to go. Yes, it's, it's urgent. Okay. I'm glad you called. Thanks. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, it's not mine. It's, it's just for work. So, what we're talking about? Uh, it's nothing. Excuse me, Kat. I need to make a call. Uh, it's okay, we can continue with this place. Yes. Yeah, sure. uh, yes. Mr. State. Bill? Yeah, it's Bill. Have you received the email? Yes. And I'm concerned about it. Are you aware that I needed the money today? Well, it'll be processed in the next two working days. The package is ready, and I need the money now. It's not wise to change your investment plan. Listen, I know I told you to help me out with that, but this is my new party. It better be on my account tomorrow. What's wrong? You look upset. Uh, don't worry, it's uh, I'm just involved with this charity. I'm chasing a lot of people with a lot of money. Don't worry. This book is freaking me out. Like, it's so real, it's just like my life right now. It's only coincidence. There's no evidence. Right, fantasy crap legitimised by florid prose. Mr Schumacher told you to learn from the book, right? Not overanalyze it. Give me a break, Nikki. This book happens to describe every date I've been on with Bill so far. It's a self-help book. You take things too seriously. Yeah. I'm gonna find out what happens at the end of the book. Listen, Bill is a con man and he's after Catherine's money. You don't have any money. Very funny, Nikki, but my dad does. He could kidnap me. All oh, right, let me see. He could kidnap you and take you to an island paradise. Hmm? You remember that book I was telling you about the other day? Right. Which one? Seriously? Again? 
Sorry, I gotta, I gotta take a call. Okay, baby? Sure. Right. Right. There's a microphone. This is Crosshaw. Nice to hear from you. We received your payment. Can I send you the package? That'll be fine. Please make sure it's a track and trace delivery. I cannot emphasize how important this is to me. No problem. You will have it by Monday. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I think I conversation Yeah, yeah. Um, this is the insurance company. I um, lost my laptop, so they're replacing a new one. Okay. I didn't know you'd lost your laptop. Come uh, yeah, on. I, I don't want you to you know, bother with it. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, Are you coming up there? I believe. Hey, guys. Mm -hmm. Cheers to the new couple. Oh, yeah. Cheers. 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 William C. Brent. Huh. What's he hiding? Oh, you scared me. What the fuck are you doing? Hey, calm down. I'm, I'm just curious. I told you not scared my life. I just saw the envelope. It's none of your fucking business. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I just saw the envelope. What, are you hiding something? I think you should just leave. Fine. Maybe I should. William Carl Brent, convicted of selling approximately $20 million worth of fictitious promissory notes and other crimes. Kiwi investment fraudster with false use of financial information, scammed female victims for sex by pretending to have family members in jail. Oh my god! Mum? Your boyfriend's on the phone. It's a bit late for a call. It's after midnight. Sorry. What are you doing all dressed up? It was the shareholders event charity dinner, your father's company. Did you forget you were supposed to come along? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Mum, can you tell Bill I'll, I'll call him tomorrow? Yeah, sure. Are you all right? You look as if you've seen a ghost. Yeah, I'm okay, Mum. Okay. Night. Yep. Bill, it's really early. I was going to call. Yeah. I no, I just came here to apologize. My behavior was unacceptable. Yeah, a bit scary. I don't like people knowing when they might know my surname. Anything I should know about? I have an uncle and, and brother. And they're in jail. What did they do? Um, they were accused of getting involved in a scheme, a scheme of bilking dozens of casinos. Wow, that is a biggie. That's why I'm really ashamed of associating with them. It's, it's embarrassing. But were they found guilty or not? I can't prove anything. I mean, if only I had the money, I, I would have helped out, you know? Right. Well, Bill, I'm sorry to do this, but I've actually got a family breakfast this morning. I'm really sorry, Kath. I mean, I mean, we're doing so well, you know. Can I have a, you know, second chance? No, I'm probably, uh, probably could come along. Uh, I don't think that's such a good idea. I mean, you haven't really met my parents, and it, it, it's too soon after I broke up with my last boyfriend. And it, I mean, it's a family thing. No, I get it. Family, family come first. You know, that's mine. This uh, shithole. 
Okay. Sorry. Uh, well, we'll catch up later, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll see you later. Sure. Hello, uh, police, please. Hi, I, I think I know somebody that you're looking for. Hello, are you Mr. William Brent? Yeah. I'm Constable Jones from SIU. I need you to accompany me to the police station for an interview regarding some fraud accusations. But I didn't do anything. That's fine, sir, but I still need you to accompany me. We may be arrested. Would you like to come with me, please? No, no, no. no. Okay, just... All right, now you're under arrest for assaulting a police officer as well. Okay, so you're going to be coming with me. Look, I didn't do anything, okay? William Cameron Brent. The C is for Cameron. Look, I don't think my job in overseas. Oh. Sure oh right. Let me see. He could kidnap you and take you to an island paradise. <laughs> so what happens to Catherine in the end? Well. She has to learn to let go of what happened, and then she finds love again. Bullshit! Thank you.